Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm All Things Wrestling, and today I'm going to be reviewing WWE SmackDown Live, 10th of September 2019. We kick off the show with The Undertaker making his way to the ring. He talks about Madison Square Garden and how we're going to rush in a new era of superstar. Sami Zayn then interrupts. He'll be like, Why are you here? Why are you taking the spotlight off me and other people? that should be the future you, you're taking the time of the current superstars uh, Taker starts to walk out the ring uh, Taker looks at Sammy celebrating he returns to the ring and chokes down Sammy good opening segment between The Undertaker and Sammy there I mean I like The Undertaker came out I mean I was hoping for a Bray Wyatt attack but I guess that would have been a little obvious but Sami Zayn is an amazing character what he's doing. The segment gets a solid 9 out of 10. We then see Shane McMahon in his office. Chad Gable enters. Shane called him called him in to talk about the King of the Ring. He said Elias cannot compete because he broke his ankle. And then Chad's like, I get a bind to the phone. He's like, you wouldn't want that. We'll find a opponent from someone from Raw or SmackDown. Maybe even someone who was already eliminated. Uh, okay, segment between Chad and Shane. I, it was alright. 5 out of 10. We then go to Miz versus Andrade with Selena Vega and Nakamura on commentary. Um, at one point, Miz throws Almas into Nakamura. Score cushion finale for the win. Nakamura hits a Kinshasa on Miz after the match. Uh, the match was fairly okay. 2.5 out of 5. Fairly decent. I mean, it would have been nice if Almas got a win, but what are you going to do? Uh, and then Shane is in the back and he asks Apollo Chris Matt Hardy if they've seen Chad Gable. Shane finds Chad and asks him about his opponent and Shane says, Elias approves his pick. It will be Shane himself. Of course. 5 out of 10. Uh, we then have Mandy Rose with Sandy Deville versus Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss. Obviously, Mandy poked fun at Nikki because of how she looks, and Mandy's like a goddess, and Nikki's just a rat from the Lincoln Tunnel, and girl slammed the door in her face, but holding for Mandy. Um, Nikki with a roll up and wins. Match was meh, one out of ten, one out of five, but a good win for Nikki nonetheless. Uh, we then see Bailey in the locker room. Ember shows up. He's like, "What are you doing?" You are talking about elevating the tag, the women's division two weeks ago. Now you're attacking Becky with a chair. What the hell is going on? Is it because of Sasha? It's like... Are you struggling to be relevant as a champion? She's like, I'm elevating this division. What do you know about being a champion? And Amber's like, I know the champion was pinned by Charlotte last night. And then Amber's like, save it for the ring. Uh, four out of ten. We then have... Otis and Tucker versus John Silver and Axe Keaton, local competitors. Compactor for the three count, not going to give it a rating. It did what it did. It was good for what it was. It made them look good. Uh, and then Shane is in the back talking to a produc production assistant. Kevin enters the office. Kevin asks, do you want to see me? Uh, Shane says, Kevin... Um, I'm a willing to eliminate the fine... If you officiate this match at the end of the show and you do your job correctly, the fine is gone. And then Kevin starts to ask him a question and he walks away. So yeah, he's got to do his job correctly, if you know what that means. A uh, good segment, 6.5 out of 10. Then Eric Warren makes his way to the ring. It's like, all you think that I'm controlled by somebody and I get told what to do until last week it was true. Look me in the eye and see what makes me tick. You need to look deep into the eyes to see who I am. I'm a schemer and a manipulator. All you see is a big brother who victimises and terrorises. Roman Reigns then makes his way to the ring. They have a big brawl. They go around the crowd. Security come out at one point. Obviously they're useless as a chocolate teapot at this job. Uh, Roman even throws a, cr a fan and throws him onto Roman and some security members. The guy looked like a bold Enzo Amore I'd like to point out obviously we know it wasn't a fan it was a plant 
obviously. Uh, they make their way up to the stage, back and forth again, uh, and then Roman grabs the camera that's on a pole and then hits Roman with it. Rowan leaves, Roman gets back to his feet. A very, very good brawl. 8.5 out of 10. Really, really liked it. Uh, then Rowan's in the back of Mumble and that he's going to teach Roman. Yeah, just going to include that in the 8.5. We then have Baylor versus Ember Moon in an on tar match with Charlotte at the table. Bailey with a belly to belly for a three count. The match was meh, one out of five. Uh, Charlotte enters the ring to have a moment with her opponent on Sunday. Pa- Charlotte points to the top belt, gestures that it'll be hers, offers her a hug, and then Bailey leaves the ring. Okay, five out of ten. Uh, we then see Kofi Kingston going through the hallway, seeing loads of photographs, which was nice, and he makes his way to the ring. Talks about whopping Randy Orton and the prestige of the arena and shows what happened last week. And then he's like, I'm still going to be your WWE champion. Orton says stupid. He can't listen to two things that Kofi has done. Win the WWE title in that boom drop. He's... Uh, Randy says he will win on Sunday whether it is that phony should make an accent or the power of positivity bullshit Kofi goes in the crowd and confronts Orton Orton hits him with a chair Orton sends Kofi into the guardrail puts him on a table uh, tries to hit his elevated DDT (laughs) didn't get it Kofi uh, hits with a couple of chairs Um, put um Kofi gets another table, puts Orton on the table, and then does a boom drop onto Orton, putting him through the table. Good brawl, good kind of promo. The A out of 10. We then told that Eric Rowan vs. Roman Reigns will be a no disqualification match this Sunday. All for it. Then the main event of the evening. Shane gets on his knees at the bow wings to mock Chad. Shane leaps at Gable and punches. Gable goes for a chaos there, hits it, three count. Chad Gable wins in about 10 seconds. Shane then makes it to our three falls match. Uh, Shane attacks Gable, slams him into the house table over and over again, then shows him into the timekeeper's area. Uh, then Chad manages to get into the ring. Uh, Chad gets a crucifix. Uh, very hesitant, slow count by Shane, uh, by Kevin up to Shane. Gets like a one. Uh, Shane. Uh, Shane kicks Gable and roll up very very fast count but Gable uh, kicks out Gable hits a moonsault very slow count Shane kicks out Uh, Shane again with a very fast near count and then Shane goes and gets a chair Shane gives Kevin the chair Shane tries to kick uh, Gable low but Gable blocks the kick ankle lock uh, then drops to his back obviously making the move um, hurt more, and then Shane taps out. Gable advances to the finals. After the match, Kevin Shane, Shane, Shane I did what I could. You tapped out. Shane closed lines uh, Kevin Owens, then punches him, punches him, punches him. Shane takes Mike and yells, "You're fired!" And then punches him, hit him with the mic, and then repeat the word, "You're fired! You're fired! You're fired!" So yeah, Kevin Owens has been fired. Match, I'm going to give a 2 out of 5. It was what it was. It kind of elevated this story with Kevin and Shane. Chad Gable got a good win in the end, even with all the odds stacked against him. But the segment with him beat down and the firing, solid 9.5 out of 10. Beautiful. Cannot wait to see on SmackDown what the hell is going to go on. And this actually made me excited for the main for the pay per view. I'm looking forward to Charlotte versus Bailey. I'm looking forward to Eric versus Roman. I really want to see what them two are going to do because that brawl was good. Kofi versus Randy, pretty good hype. Overall, it's not looking like a bad card, and it's not a bad go home show to be honest. But yeah, that has been my review. I do hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a good good SmackDown. I mean, I have to give it a solid 7 out of 10. It was a really good show. You know what? I'm going to be generous. 7.5 out of 10. It was a really good show. 
especially the ending. The ending put the icing on the cake for me to give it a really good rating. But the brawls were good. I liked it. Now, as always, uh, shout out to my channel members beforehand: uh, Anton Blake Cox, Doogie Fresh Richards, and 3D Revolution. Please, please message me back, dude. I haven't heard from you in a while. I'm worried. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for the support, guys. Much appreciation. If you want to join, there's a button on the channel. It's like as low as $1.99 and you get perks and all that kind of stuff and support this channel and the shows and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Smash the like button, share and subscribe, and I shall catch you all later. Bye.